you about it because it's falling apart. So it's currently with Pathways, the footpaths and Pathways people, who undoubtedly will spend 12 months discussing that whether we need a new bridge and another further 12 months deciding how on earth to replace it and then sending a team of 18 people, etc, etc. <laughs> Meanwhile, what we're trying to do is lay fibre across this beck, which is Corky Beck, it runs through the village, and you join the Eden down there. So if we want to put fibre across this bridge, then you can, there are several options. You can directional drill under the beck, which is expensive. You can put a metal pipe across it, uh, but then every single child in the village can replace the bridge and build the fibre optic into a brand new footbridge which would solve one of the parish council's problems. Uh, it can act as a gift to the village. Uh, it will mean the children can start thinking about using this path. When the village hall is built in that field over there, we'll have a bridge across the back. But these are the sorts of issues that when you communicate with the community, you find out things that are going on. And it might be that they're not immediately obvious that that bridge has anything whatsoever to do with next generation broadband, but it's a key part of it. And it, and it is really important for county councils, communities, etc., to get into the local knowledge that's in the mothers outside the school, I believe what we found out from them, parish council, the landowners, residents. Um, had someone the other day was convinced the Environment Agency were here, but actually it was a group of ITS people and myself in high-vis jackets having a look at this bridge and discussing what the solutions were. So a low-cost solution to get fibre across, it's not digging or putting a potentially unsafe metal thing, but also solves a village problem that is taking up parish council time, isn't it John? Yeah. So it would obliterate that. So this is the next problem when you've managed to get out of a brand new school building across the playground, negotiated with the lovely landowners for way leaves, dug through a ditch, then the next problem you face is this. So in a, we haven't even come, what, a quarter of a mile? And you've already seen the sorts of problems that people face in trying to dig. So where BT etc are involved, they have all of this but without the benefit of having sat in the last parish council meeting talk to the school head, talk to the parents, etc, etc. So the next bit is into this fantastic field here, which looks like a field until you discover what's under it. Thank you.